welcome to another video and thank you for joining us. If you recognise this house, which many of you will do, and you know who it once belonged to, and any of the story distresses you in any way, please feel free not to go any further. But we do not go into any of the full story. Whether you know this or not, this house used to belong to one of the evilest men I've ever heard of in recent years. Unfortunately, the memory and everything that goes with this man's name ruined such an idyllic, beautiful and one of the best locations for a house I've ever seen. Deep into the mountainsides in this beautiful picturesque location near Glencore lies this beautiful absolutely stunning little house a holiday home for some and a permanent dwelling for others this house has been ruined by one man and one man only and it bugs me as why do we only remember it as belonging to this man? Let's get into it. Welcome back everybody to another video and we are stepping back into a urban explore and a bando. Um, I've not done this in a long time and this one is going to be um, interesting but for some viewers quite distressing so I will say that before we even get into it um, yeah I'm just gonna come out with it this is one of Jimmy Savile's um, holiday homes get out of the way houses that kind of thing now before we actually get into the proof um, obviously I'll find some pictures online uh, to prove the theory I will show you where we are look look at this it's beautiful. Look at the size of that. We're also going to come back at some point and camp these, but I'm going to, sh going to show you in here. Um, there is pictures online of Jimmy in this house. Um, my torches are in the car, um, but I am going to show you this. Right. Yourselves. You don't want to go in there. There. So that's all I'm going to show you of that. Right then. And we have the boys, usual. Um, I mean, if anything, the guy had one hell of a view, and it's a, it's a shame that this was owned by such an evil, evil man. Um, and it's probably why this has never been done up. But we are going to go now and have a look at this infamous, beautiful but yet disturbing house. Like I said, I'm going to apologise right now for any bad language that you wrote, the graffiti. I will try and maybe blur it out, but yeah. This is Jimmy Savile's hideaway house. Um, so we've came in here and this is going to be so hard to film. I'm not even going to exaggerate this. Uh, there's a, a chap out there camping in a tent, really nice guy. Um, He's trying to get to Glencore, we're going the opposite direction, uh, unfortunately. Um, all around this building, there is, um, there's just notices all over the place, for the obvious. Um, oh my god. Just gets worse, doesn't it? I don't, know what, I don't know what to say. I, I, like, I knew it was in Scotland, but I didn't know where it was. 
to say that we've randomly just found this beast I told you it was his house I told you as soon as we drove past it I recognised the house I seen there's been a guy being here before there's just like stickers and notices all over the walls like who who has this amount of time to do this exactly What? Huh? All you've got is like just this all over the place, you know, like obviously that. Um, this is mad. This is going to be a really short video guys, I think I'm going to have to like um, add a different place into this to make a video out of it because of the reason I can't film this. I can't film this at all, I can't do too much. I'm going to have to blur quite a lot of this unfortunately, um, unless you're seeing this in members only, um, you know. Yeah. It will have been. And, and then he did what he did and then he's he's ruined it. I'm shocked. I didn't ever think I would we would find it, let alone be so close to it, the fact that we could just wander in. I didn't ever think I would see this. Not on a good level on a level of oh my god it's real yeah. do you know what I mean like shit this is real I told you it was yeah well look where we are who the hell would have known but no windows are let's, like, let's not talk about this this is making me feel sick um, I'm going to have a quick look around the outside the weather is horrendous raining quite a lot it's such a shame because it's such a nice house I'd love to live here if it wasn't you know attached to what it is you know waking up in the morning coming for a brew standing out on here got a waterfall in this back garden Such a shame. Look at this. It's beautiful, isn't it? But like, it's not at the same time. I mean, don't take this the wrong way. Like, for me, the fact of where the house is, the architecture of the house, and the fact that it's built where it is, before he owned it, this will have been gorgeous. This will have been green. Ruined. Right, we're going to go somewhere else. I, for one, will always remember this house. For this man. Many of you will know who this man is, but many won't. But in 1961, this house was bought by this man. He lived in it until around 1987 with his partner Catherine. This man helped establish in the Glencoe Mountain Rescue Team and he was its leader for over 30 years. He was a mountaineer, a rescuer, a hiker and a legend. What bugs me is why don't people remember the house? this man? Why must it be ruined and trashed? Why can't it be celebrated for this man once living in it? 
Why isn't it a memorial to this man? Rest in peace, Hamish McCoy.